All right, so this is how to uh, set up an integrated development environment if you're on the Mac. Now, the good news, uh, SSH and most of the other stuff is already pre-configured in Mac. But in order to get the development tools, you're going to need Xcode because all the compilers that uh, Mac likes to use, they're all located inside of Xcode. Now you can either buy it, um, I don't know how much it costs because I'm a developer for Apple, so or part of the Apple developer program, and uh, you get it as part of the deal, but you can buy it. It's fairly cheap. It's got a low rating, but that's just because some people are kind of whiny, but uh, it works really well. So get that, download it, and install it. And if you still have either your Mac OS X Lion or um, your Mac OS X Snow Leopard CD, if you insert that and you look under your optional installs, you'll find Xcode on there. But it's about 10 gigs, and that's the reason why it's not uh, part of the package. But once you have it downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it up and go to File, New, New Project. Once you're inside of the new project, make sure you're not under the iOS. That's if you want to develop iPad or iPhone stuff. Make sure under Mac OS X, grab your command line tool, click Next. Very important, you're going to have a C project by default. Switch that to C++ and then give it a certain name and tell it where you want to store it. And then once you do, you're going to have uh, something up and running. Now, once you're inside of there, you're going to get something kind of like this, except for it's not going to have using namespace. Instead, it's going to have this, and as you can see, without using namespace, what you have to do is go through and type this in to all the different lines. However, uh, and that's what starts off is by default, and it's going to have some random garbage inside of here. Delete that out of there. So the good news about using Xcode is if we type in using, you'll see that it pops up a help list. You can hit control space at any time and it'll give you this. And we're saying, yes, we are using namespace. And then if we put using namespace STD, which hopefully stands for standard rather than, you know, the sexually transmitted disease. Um, if you hold on alt and you get this little pointer, you can actually click on stuff. And uh, it'll show you the name of what it is. It'll show you where it's declared in. And if it does have somewhere in the developer library, it can show some implementation on it on in there. So you can actually click on this and open it up. And this is what's going on behind the scenes to make sure that works. But you'll never need to read that. Anyway, that's what it is and that's what it does. So now here, you can see that I have a little more complex piece of code than what works in class. It's just a simple if else statement. But whenever I run this, It'll build it, and if the build succeeds, then down here, this is the output. And it's going to say, OK. In this case, it's asking me to tell how many hours are in a day. And if I say 23 hours, it'll say you see so many hours in a day. You know, exit was zero, so that means it ran fine. And if I run it one more time, and I say there's 24 hours in a day, it'll tell me I'm a genius. So yay. So my code, it works just fine. So now what I need to do is I need to go to terminal. All right, and PWD, and I'm inside my own uh, computer right now. So to connect to the LSU server, it's, uh, here we go. So now it shows me that I have indeed logged in. If I type ls.l, I'll see I have two directories, sandbox, sandbox2. CD, change directory, S, if you press uh, something in, like a directory name, and you press tab, it'll auto-fill it to the nearest one. So now when I look at this, I see I've got sandbox. All right, so now what I can do is uh, da, da, da. I can uh, type in nano, which is going to pop in the uh, text editor. And then what I can do is just grab all this text and paste it right into nano. And then if I scroll up on this, I can see my code. And since it worked inside of the console, it should work inside here. Now there is one gotcha, and this is a pretty nasty one. And it's going to be right down here. Most likely, it's fixing to give me an error inside of this whenever I write this out. So I think my program works just fine, and I hit Control O, and I say I want to write out hello, or uh, if switch, dot cpp. 
So it writes it out, I exit out of there, and then I say, all right, ls-l, and I see my if switch statement there. So I say, all right, fine, uh, g++ plus plus if switch dot cpp dash o um, if switch dot exe. And it says it worked before, it should work here, right? And it's going to tell me, no, it's not working. So what happened? Why isn't it working? Well, if I go back inside of this, actually, uh, to go back up, just hit up on your arrow key, and it'll redisplay the previous things you did. And it really is that far up there. All right, but if I do uh, just nano if switch dot cpp, open it up, and everything's working fine, everything's right, correct? But one thing is off, and there's really no way to fix this. This is kind of like a weird terminal buggy thing. What you have to do is expand your window, and right here it has this dash in on its own line. What you need to do is make sure that it's on the same line as this, because what happens is when the uh, closing parentheses is on its own line, this text editor does not recognize that as being connected to this. It does not see this as one statement. It sees this part as one, and then it sees the uh, breaking, this broken part here as a separate statement. So you must make sure that your quotations are on the same line. And if you can't do that, um, then what you need to do is concatenate the strings. And what concatenating the strings is, is it's just where you do this, and then if you know the next one, then you say, all right, dash dash this is string two and that's just how you concatenate and all that's doing is just letting it know that uh, the semi or the closing parentheses on a separate line so it's kind of a little mini bug this doesn't happen inside of uh, Xcode but it does happen inside of nano because nano is not a sophisticated text editor the way that uh, Xcode is. So this is one gotcha you need to be careful of. So uh, we exit, we say yes, and now if we do the exact same thing, we compile it, we can now look at it, and we'll see that if switch.exe is there, so I hit dot slash if switch.exe. And I just tested out that my program works exactly the same here as it does down there. Now, if you want your terminal thing to look cool, you can go to Terminal and go to Preferences. And then it'll pop up the Preferences for Terminal, and you can change uh, what it looks like if you want to have it uh, cool like mine. So that's one little gotcha you got to be aware of if you're going to do this. But other than that, if something works down here, it will work in here. And if it doesn't, then make sure you don't have any little gotchas like that creeping around. And to exit out of here, we're going to type in exit, and the connection is closed. So that's all you got to do inside of um, Mac. Just make sure you download Xcode, and pretty much you're good to go.